Wake up, today's gonna be a good day. 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 A friend of mine asked me if I could crop this top. I was a little scared because of the fringe, but I figured it out and this is what this video is. I'll show you how. I started by placing the blouse on my cutting mat that has a grid on it so that I could keep everything straight. Then I marked the place where I wanted to crop the top, leaving about one fourth inch for seam allowance. I used my cutting ruler to make sure that I was lined up on both sides. Then I used my disappearing ink fabric marker to draw a line going all the way across, just to keep me straight. So before I cut, I decided to make sure everything was lined up again so that I would get a nice straight line. So just taking a look at this fringe, this is the front side of the fringe. One thing about this project was keeping those little things from getting in the way of the sewing and the cutting. So you have to kind of keep an eye out on that. Now here I'm cutting down to cut through this seam so that we won't have that bulky part. And the other tricky part about this is if you can notice, some of the areas are kind of angled like right here. And so I decided to go ahead and cut those so that I wouldn't have any weird angles on the hem because the hem is going to be straight. So now I'm just kind of straightening out all the little fringe because I don't want to cut them off. This part was kind of tricky. Now I'm just cutting at the very top of the fringe, being careful not to cut into the fringe. And this is another one of those angled areas, so I cut through that seam as well. And then right here you can see there's a little bit of bulk where the seam was, so I'm going to trim that off. But we want to be careful and not trim too much so that we don't end up with not enough trim to go around the entire blouse. So after cutting off all of the fringe and laying that to the side, I turned the blouse inside out and I pressed under about one fourth inch all the way around. This is going to make it easier for us to take it to the sewing machine and zigzag around the edges. And the purpose of that is to prevent it from fraying and to make it easier when we sew on our trim. So I changed the settings on the sewing machine before I got started here to the zigzag stitch. Now I've turned it right side out again. Now that we've gone all the way around the edges with the zigzag stitch, I'm going to go ahead and trim off any loose threads or any threads that are hanging off. Now we're ready to start pinning the fringe onto the bottom of the hem here. And again, this is kind of tricky because you want to keep the fringe from um, getting in the way of the sewing. I pinned this all the way around using that seam that I created earlier as my marker for where I'm pinning it.
So when I got to the end, I could see I had a little bit of a frayed edge, so I just trimmed that off a little bit, and I turn it under, and then pin it. And now I'm sewing the fringe onto the blouse using a regular stitch. And I take it kind of slow because I didn't want to get out of line and you kind of have to find a place in the fringe to use as your line. Taking the pins out as I go before I run over them with my sewing machine. Never a good thing. So now that I have the front part done, I'm going to work on the back part of the blouse. And first I'm gonna to need to add these two pieces together. So I put them together face to face and I pinned them. And then I'm just gonna to go to the sewing machine and create a seam that will um, attach both of those together. And after I do that, I'm going to trim that off a little bit so it won't be too bulky. See, it's kind of bulky. We want it to lay flat as possible whenever we go to apply it to the blouse. And so now we're ready to pin it to the back of the blouse. So I'm trying to flatten this out and turn it over, fold it under just a little bit so that it'll look prettier on that edge seam there. So it's kind of tricky to get that lined up. It's face to face with that other fringe that I already sewed on. And then we're just gonna pin it like that. So I'm just speeding through here, and basically what I did was I pinned it all on just like I did the front, and then I took it to the sewing machine and sewed it on just like I did the front. And here's the finished product. The fringe goes all the way around, and it looks so pretty, and now it's a nice summer crop top. I sure hope you enjoyed this little tutorial and I hope you'll come back by hitting that subscribe button and the like button. Thanks so much. Keep on crafting.